This event will really strongly showcase the role of local women peace builders in their communities and look at how we engage in equitable partnerships with local peace builders around the world. We're launching a million dollar rapid response fund for supporting small initiatives from women peace builders. Thank you so much for joining us here today to showcase the indomitable efforts of women leaders from around the world who are relentless in the pursuit of more peaceful societies. Peace agreements are 65% more likely to last if women are included. I think it's very important because to bring female voices in the process of inclusive uh, peace building. Designing for Peace explores how we might combine our creative forces to envision the future we want to live in and take action to create it because it is only when we have a common understanding of the size and the scale of the problem can we be truly motivated and incentivized to change the world. And so I want to reiterate my profound thanks to each of you for the work that you're doing, that you've done before you came here, and that we all know you're going to be doing when you leave. I want to thank the State Department for enabling us at Search for Common Ground to support more of this kind of work. Peace is a journey, but it's not an endless journey. And I think we're taking a big step forward today. Not only does the initiative recognize that women and women's voices are critical to peace building, it seeks to reshape peace building partnerships to be more equitable and more inclusive. Including women in peace process is giving the chance for peace because women are peacemakers.